Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. We are heading up north again with thanks to our friends at TB Campers, but more about them a wee bit later on during this video. I've got the three sites here on my phone where we're going to be heading. This is part two, well, the second trilogy. We have already been up north for three campsites a couple of weeks back. This time we're going to Tollymore campsite. We're going to Six Mile Water and then right across to Fermanagh to Castle Arcade. They are the three campsites that we are going to go and review for you guys this time. No skipping of the road footage because it's motorway from Carrigan Shore all the way to... The first campsite well basically oh we're going to go through carlingford we're going to take the ferry so this is the route we could be going if we go on the road right but i've decided we'll go to carlingford and take the ferry across from carlingford so then that's the route to carlingford and then that's the route to the first campsite i think it takes an hour off our journey or half an hour because the ferry is half an hour but i'm looking forward to heading to carlingford lock taking the ferry across and then driving the rest of the way up to tullymore caravan and camping park so that's where we're heading for first so no skipping road footage i'll throw a little bit of the getting on and off the boat onto this as well and then we'll just show you the road footage just a kilometer or two short of the entrance to the campsite Charlie's ready to roll. I've just got to uh, finish packing our food, go get Charlie, and then we'll hit the road. It's a four hour drive if we go the long way with stops for Charlie. I think it's about two and a half, maybe three hours if we just go straight to Carlingford. So we're definitely going to take the ferry. We have made it to Tullymore Forest Park Caravan and Camping Site. It's full. I'd say there's probably two or three pitches left. Um, hang on. We are down there. The toilets are there. There are bin stops like this all over the place. It's a stunning day. It's a stunning area. It's a beautiful campsite. But like many of the parks in Northern Ireland, it's run by county council or the forest group or somebody now when i was checking in 
Beautiful gentleman. I should have got his name. I might get his name later. Checked me in, explained everything. Gave me the booklet for all the walks. Not that we'll be doing any of the walks. There is a chuck wagon here till six o'clock. It's a coffee wagon, but sometimes they do hot food, pizzas and stuff. There is a separate tent area, which I shall show you now. Pitch is a pretty level. Just hang on a second. I have to clean up a Charlie mess. Mess cleaned up. Anyway, I forget what I was now. Yeah, I'm going to stand in here off the road because it's busy. And I'll just give you a quick, quick look at what this place is like. If you make your way in that way, you would have seen on the road footage. Beautiful entrance. That's the tent area there. There are no tents. Oh, that's all the toilets and showers. No tents beyond this point. It's all for caravans and campervans. There's a big American RV park beside me. There's a great mixture of caravans and campervans. There are some twin axle caravans here as well. And a good selection of tents, including a tent box. So I'll go find the bin, bring this guy for a bit of a walk, take the bike, throw the drone into a bag, head over to reception area and get the drone up there and get a photograph because this place is going to be fabulous from the skies. more forest park it's run by the forest services i took us a while to get here okay i took the ferry from carlingford and that was brilliant it would have taken i reckon 40 minutes off the journey and probably saved us 30 or 40 quid on diesel maybe a quarter of a tank but then i got lost and i put an hour onto the journey hence not saving any money on diesel either but apart from that i highly recommend if you're coming to this part of the north go to carlingford take the ferry okay it was 29 quid 40 quid return we're working away up north and then across the fermanagh so we only got the one way before i do a wrap up on this place this video this trilogy is sponsored by our friends at tp campers they're a brand new company set up in kilkenny in 2022 and they hire camper vans 
not motorhomes, camper vans. And not only that, they upgrade their fleet quite regular. So they have vans to sell, camper vans to sell. But anyway, let's take a look at the website because they're sponsoring this video. And in fact, the next two videos as part of this trilogy. When you're thinking of buying a camper van, we always say, try before you buy. Use a hire company like TB Campers for Hire, based in Kilkenny City. They have a selection of small camper vans that will really make you make up your mind whether it's for you or not. They have gift vouchers available, emailed directly to you. They also have a tent box for hire, which will go on the roof of practically any car. Look at the selection of vans they have from their VW transporters to their Ford Transit. Log on to their website at tbcampers.ie and find out more details. You get a cozy camper, safe, reliable, 24-7 support, additional drivers added on insurance, they're fuel efficient and come with solar power. Here are some testaments from people who have used the vans over a period of time. And for those of you with a dog in your life, their camper vans are dog friendly. Thank you to TB Campers for supporting this video. So thank you again to Tomas and his crew at TB Campers. They're in Kilkenny City. And as I say, they also sell camper vans because as they upgrade their vans, they sell under vans. So definitely check out their website. All the contact details will come up at the end of this video. Right. The Forest Park. So it's open to the public. When you make your way in, there's a ranger's office. You pay for your daily pass there, whether you're a car, a van, 15 children, two children. I'm not sure what way it works, but I think it's it's five, five quid for a daily pass for a car. But we're paying £26 sterling a night, which is about €31, Euro, maybe short of €31. Euro. That seems to be the average up here. Look, €30. Euro down south seems to be the average so 26 pound a night the pitch is level there's plenty of them there's plenty of space if you've got a caravan to throw an awning some of them are parked this way some of them are parked that way so you can put your awning you're not interfering with absolutely no neighbor whatsoever there's plenty i'm looking here and there's a caravan parked that way with an awning out and then there's one here with an awning out and the two families seem to be friends and they're all congregated in the middle there's plenty of space between the pitches it's on three levels so we're on the main level when you come in when you come in past the ranger's office, you would have seen it on the driving footage on the dash cam. Tents are all on your right hand side. Then it's the toilet blocks. Then we stay left and you come down to the main area and it's a roundabout. And then you hang a left and you're onto the next tier, which is two little cul-de-sacs. And then you go up again and you're onto another tier. All camper vans, no tents allowed beyond the toilets. The tents, I'd say you fit 20 average size tents up there. None of your big family villages, but <clears throat> you'd fit a good selection of tents up in the tent area uh 26 pound like bins everywhere the big wheelie bins there's i think i counted six just walking around here six sets of three or four bins so plenty of of bins available uh i have a tap just here there seems to be a tap every four pitches so plenty of water we're on 16 amps so we're gonna have no problem running the aircon and we have been running it a wee bit earlier on today and we're also running the max fan at the moment. It's now currently a quarter to seven. Toilets, showers are free. The toilet blocks are dated, um, but they're clean. They're clean, there's plenty of hot water and there's um, storage heaters on the wall. So I'm sure during the winter, they're warm. Showers are free, plenty of hot water in the showers, good pressure in the showers as well. And they're clean. As actually I went up to check the toilets, there was a lady there checking all the toilet rolls and stuff like that. So clean. It's a busy campsite. I think there's about two pitches left here. I'm going to say there's about 120 pitches. If I find out the right number, I'll put it in here. But I'd say there's 120 pitches here and there's two pitches free maybe. In fact, I saw a van drive around there earlier, a camper van, and the girl drove in and drove around it. And I think she got the last pitch over there in the corner. Tullymore Forest Park is a nice campsite. It's worth a drive, but definitely take the ferry from Carlingford. 29 quid but it was lovely and it was it was 20 minutes less even that is it we are moving on thank you to our friends 
at TB Cameras in Kilkenny for sponsoring this trilogy. Tomorrow we go to Six Mile Waters, but for you, that's next week's video. And then we head all the way across Northern Ireland to Fermanagh, where we're going to Castle Arcade, which will be the final video in this trilogy. All the contact details for this place and for TB Campers coming up at the end of this video. He's just moved, look. He was there and now he's there. I've walked the guts out of him, to be honest, because there's plenty of walking to do around here and it is very, very warm, even now at 10 to 7 in the evening. I've got dinner cooking behind us. Got a little bit of editing to do and then we watch a bit of telly. From me, Aaron, stay safe, take care. Bye-bye.